gathering programs that scan and store hundreds of millions of records, uh, uh, license numbers, I should say, tag numbers. The primary goal, the license plate tracking program run by the Drug Enforcement Administration, is to seize cars, cash, other assets to combat drug trafficking. But the database's use has expanded to hunt for vehicles associated with numerous other potential crimes and list them. Officials have publicly said they track vehicles near the border with Mexico to help fight drug cartels. What hasn't been previously disclosed is the DEA has spent years working to expand the database throughout the United States. Many state and law enforcement agencies are accessing the database for a variety of investigations. The database raises new questions about privacy and the scope of government surveillance and on and on and on. I just do not accept these broad-based collection of data programs. You could always make a reason for it, but it is unacceptable to me. It is unacceptable to me when it comes to the Second Amendment. It is unacceptable to me when it comes to our license plates. You can't drive without a license plate. It's considered a privilege, not a right. So there you are. You sign up. You take the test. You pay your fees every year. You have your license plate. And now the feds are going to collect it because, you know, they're chasing drug traffickers, particularly on the border. Well, secure the damn border. Stop collecting data on all the rest of us. And I am sick and tired of putative conservatives and pseudo-libertarians on TV and elsewhere making excuses for this stuff. It's ridiculous. But just to keep collecting all this data on us, our health care, our income, Our automobiles, our phone numbers. What the hell is happening under a very liberal president, mind you? No, he's not alone. I get it. But there's always going to be some poppycock argument for doing these things. Well, we got your license plate number. Yes, you do. Well, we know all about your income. Oh, okay, great. Well, we know what kind of illnesses and sicknesses and diseases and rashes and all the rest that you have with our health care database. Oh, okay. I don't want some bureaucrat in the shadows being able to pull up this information. Do you? Look what happened at the IRS, the abuse of information there. I talked the first hour about what can happen if economy collapses. Do you really want all this information in the hands of the federal government? Do you think the Founding Fathers want want all this information in the hands of any government? If we have a problem with drug activity on the border, secure the border. Don't collect more information on American citizens who have nothing to do with it.